what does it mean practicing yoga uh, in our life? Certainly, as we know, it's not uh, just uh, the uh, practical activity of the body, which for some from some people it's simply a way for uh, uh, representing an alternative uh, to to the gym because of course they ignore uh, uh, or they are not ready to see all the back uh, uh, part uh, uh, of uh, uh, of the teachings of the learned the learning which goes beyond, like every spiritual practice, uh, it goes beyond the moment in which uh, in which we are practicing. Um, there is not, of course, one type of yoga. Uh, the yoga in itself, uh, in general, um, is uh, uh, an element, a journey that it applies to all the aspects uh, uh, in our life. It's something that uh, actually we should practice every day, every day in our activities, in our interactions with our people. And that is exactly the reason for which spiritual activities uh, have been created, because, created uh, because they are tools to help our daily life, our soul. They are tools to help our soul to go towards the final destinations, which means leaving this body, leaving the situation of the, uh, the living the samsara, the circle of reincarnations, uh, the situations of suffering in our life, passing through all the different difficulties in life. And so these tools are helping, helping our soul to navigate these challenges so that then at the end of the journey, we leave this body uh, with some uh, uh, learnings, with some elements that help our next reincarnations, uh, that help uh, our uh, journey to live not in the same way, hopefully, uh, that we have joined, hopefully not worse uh, and potentially much better. But um, the role of spirituality is always uh, uh, to support our uh, practical life, our daily life, uh, uh, to be able to face uh, all the situations and all the challenges. And uh, another way in which uh, we... Uh, we tend to separate spirituality uh, from our life. Uh, it's uh, uh, every in every in every uh, situations in our life. We all come with our baggage, with our uh, elements of complaining, uh, with our heaviness, with our difficulties, and we think in the moment I leave that job, in the moment I change my partner, in the moment I substitute this and that, then magically the situation will be solved. Ignoring that is always me. In situation A is always me joining situation B, but we always think that the reason for something for our not being happy is in the external conditions instead of just uh, uh, reflecting uh, on uh, uh, the inner attitude. Uh, in uh, And so we think in the moment uh, I uh, change that home, uh, that that job uh, and I reach something that we think is potentially better so it was just like reaching a sort of paradise uh, we think that then the situation will change and when we are there inside uh, um, we uh, we we come with all our projections this is also allowing me to think about uh, 2015, uh, when uh, I spent uh, uh, time in uh, in uh, the monastery, in one month in the monastery of Kupan outside Kathmandu, and uh, observing the way we foreigners were allowed to be there inside the monastery to study, to practice with monks this month, one month, uh, see how the whole situations from the monks' purpose perspective and from our perspective as, stu oh, as students. Uh, were different. At the beginning, we, were, we became with all our uh, difficulties from our life. And then, of course, when we were there, we also uh, asked to leave uh, our mobile, uh, our technological connection to the external world uh, and put all our uh, belongings uh, in uh, in an envelope for one month, so we didn't have connections with the external uh, world. Um, at the beginning, of course, it's, ch it's challenging, it's difficult uh, uh, because our mind gets trapped. Uh, uh, our mind doesn't have these tools uh, we are used uh, normally 
we are familiar to having our hands, uh, our mind is struggling in having moments of solitude, of silence, especially times in which you are required to be silent. And then, of course, throughout the day, we all had our our practice of waking up uh, 5 a.m., doing 30 minutes of prostrations in the, in the gompa, uh, then going, uh, then having one hour of uh, meditation, then going for breakfast, uh, having our uh, time for uh, washing clothes, uh, or some of us were practicing uh, yoga. Uh, and then we had uh, uh, time throughout the whole morning of teachings, uh, lunch, and then we used to have the discussion groups uh, in the afternoon for one hour, which means we were paired with some other people uh, that were coming from all over the world uh, uh, to have discussions, discussion groups about specific topics, of course, always taken from uh, uh, from the, the teachings that we used to receive in the, in the mornings. Uh, and, uh, and then, of course, there were um, some practice of reciting uh, mantras, uh, prayers, uh, pujas, uh, uh, purifications of specific, I would call them rituals, practices. Uh, uh, we were absorbing monks, uh, watching monks, uh, realizing mandalas, which was a very beautiful experience. And what I was able to uh, notice in uh, in these times is that the projections, the ideas that we used to have uh, of the people around us, uh, um, the image that we were sharing from ourselves coming from the outside world, uh, with some of us that took the opportunity to introduce themselves in a totally different way, like a chance to wear a different mask. Some others were just naturals, natural, some others were curious. And then, of course, observing with all, in, in a month in which you are in, um, in, in contact with the deepest part of you when all your monsters are coming out, uh, because the more you go deeper, the more things uh, uh, come to the surface. Uh, there were also moments of explosions of transformations of people. Uh, so we were taking our own projections, deepen the deepest ones inside over there. And so what was happening is that, of course, some people had very challenging moments, uh, very crises, uh, big moments of crisis. Uh, for some others, uh, it was just uh, a continuation because they were living life in which they were able to dedicate a lot to their spiritual times. For some others, considering that over there, there are managers of companies uh, joining, uh, uh, people that brought again be teachers of spiritual discipline. So it, it's, it's really a variety of people, situations in which you come in contact with. It's not just, uh, it would be just a representation of, of a small world of reality. And then, of course, you see also the behavior and then discussing and talking with the, with the monks inside over there, you actually discover that the same dynamics happen in uh, in, uh, in, in spiritual beings and holy beings, uh, because we are human beings. Uh, and it might be, of course, on a small scale, that, that some dynamics of power, uh, of jealousy happens as well uh, in, uh, in people that are spending their own day dedicating to the Dharma, um, dedicating uh, to, uh, to, to a proficuous way for, for our soul. And this is, of course, because we are taking our baggage to each situation so in the moment we realize that when we change uh, then eventually this external situation changes uh, is teaching us the fact that we don't need sometimes uh, to be able to go and move around from one situation to the other one we simply need to change our attitude and the moment we change our attitude we realize that uh, uh, on that day that we don't care anymore about what's happening outside us uh, is exactly the moment in which the situation is changing because we inside ourselves have changed the reading mode of that situation.